chocolate chip bread pudding. The ingredients are raisins, chocolate chips, milk, spices, butter, and something to scoop up the butter with, two eggs, salt, a pan, a measuring cup, but we're not going to measure anything. We're just going to throw it in there. Utensils and a pot to warm up your milk. And most importantly, bread. Let's begin. Okay, okay so first we're going to prepare our mix which is our milk and spices and sugar mix that we'll warm up to put in our bread pudding. Okay. The mix is very important. If the mix tastes good, the bread pudding will taste good. Okay? But so, how are we going to know if it tastes good? You have to taste it. Okay, so two eggs. Crack the egg. There's three inside here, but I'll just take two. I'll hold one for you. Mm -hmm. Oopsie! Mm -hmm. All right. Here's another one. Good job. The yolk cracked. That's perfect. Now mix it a little, please. With a fork. Okay, while you're mixing, I'll just add the spices. Okay. It's getting a little watery. That's perfect. It's a cinnamon. Cinnamon spice and almond flavored spice. A salt. Salt. What about the sugar, mommy? You add the sugar last. Okay. And some milk. And mix it thoroughly. It's getting a little light here. Now we're not using any measurements. We're just doing as much as we think we need to soak up the bread. And we're going to warm up this later in the video. Careful. We're going to add the sugar. Ew. That's okay. Does it taste good? And I good? always say you add sugar until it tastes good. Well, so stir I I taste it without the sugar and it tastes like eggs. <laughs> Alright, let me help a little. I'm actually joking. Wanna taste it? Bend off. Put it a little in your hand. Open your hand. Yeah, taste that. It's sweet. Okay, time to add the water. This really high. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Yes, it looks great. We just need to taste it to make sure it tastes great. Is hmm. it good? I think it needs a little more Sugar. salt. Salt? What do you mean salt? A little. Why do you always say salt brings out the flavor? Yes, it does. Salt really does bring out the flavor in things. There's still more egg in this. That's why it tastes like eggs. Add a little 
evaporated milk so it can taste even better. Stir that and then taste it. What does evaporated mean? Hmm. I don't know why they call it evaporated milk. We'll have to Google that. Tastes good? So. Yes? Yeah. All right, so then we take this liquid and we'll pour it in a pot and warm it up. Don't boil it, just make it warm so that it will soak nicely into the bread. Okay? Yeah. yeah. As you see, the pot is over there. Ah. We've warmed up our mixture and now we're going to prepare the pan and the bread by buttering it. Use a small spoon, shallow spoon, and wipe it all over. Use your hand. My hand. Yes, use your fingers to get all the butter out and spread it in the base and the side of the pan. And wash your hands. Yes, make sure your hands are clean. You think you need some more? Yeah. Just take a little, little. Okay, do the edges. Edges. And I washed my hands. Good. Next, we're going to layer the bread into the pan for baking but we're gonna first put some butter on the sides of the bread not a lot just a little go ahead Kai yeah so we scoop it up and wipe it up the, on the bread like toast, but it's not toast. It's just normal bread covered in butter. Okay, that's a lot. I'll scrape it off. Okay, and I'll layer them. That's enough. enough just need a little butter now we don't have to do each slice of bread so we'll do the first layer and then put the next layer with no butter okay but then I'm going to be helping you with the layers We do a layer of bread and I'll show you in a minute. Bread and then sprinkle some cinnamon, some raisins. And most of all, chocolate chips. Yes. In between each layer. Mm. You like to show them? Just raise this up to show them the first layer. First layer done with butter. Okay, and now sprinkle some cinnamon. Cinnamon, which good. As you see, the cinnamon has holes, so I can just, just a little. dash some around. Sprinkle. Yeah. Thank you, Kai. Just going to break up some bread and put in those spaces we have. Yeah. We normally do that. Yeah. Uh. All right, how about some raisins and chocolate chip? I'll push in the spots and see the toast. Because we want no holes. This is our favorite part, sprinkling. Yeah, and I'll do the chocolate chips. This is good. Yes, it's dark chocolate, not too sweet. Cut 
because dark chocolate is healthy. It has less sugar than the milk chocolate, I think. Yes, it does. All right. So let's do the next layer. No butter this time. Okay, eating more than you, more than you're baking. I am. You can add some more butter to the top of these slices if you wish. Yeah, and I will do the really detailed part because I don't want any holes in my bread. <laughs> it looks like I'm decorating a pudding. You are. I'm unfinished. An unfinished pudding. This is the first time we're trying chocolate chips in our bread pudding, by the way. So we second. always... Second? The second time? Yeah. You can add the raisins. So what? More raisins than chocolate chips. If you don't eat raisin, don't add it. Right. You don't have to add it. Okay, and you don't have to add none of these spices. You just have to add the main things, which is which are which are butter, bread, eggs, milk, milk, um, sugar, and sugar. Yeah, that's the main thing. And you add whatever spices you love. So we love cinnamon. You can also add nutmeg. You can add rose water instead of almond. And you can even, which I've done sometimes, add honey on the yeah. top of your bread. But we don't have honey now. So Kai, you're going to put some butter on these slices that will go on top. Well, we don't have it because we didn't buy it yet. I'm making sure everybody, everyone has an equal share amount. of butter. Okay. Looking for that wooden spoon. It's over there. As you can see, it's starting to lay around. We're really taking it slow because slow and easy wins the race. <laughs> slow and steady. Yeah. Take one step at a time, mm -hmm. and we'll find our way. That's from apple and onion. Apples and onion? Apple and onion. Okay. Apple and onion, then. All right. I think we have some spaces to fill. Yeah, really big spaces to fill. Fill it one step at a time. I will buy it now. Is that all the bread? No, that's it. All right. Now we're pouring the mix. The hot mixture on it. Make sure an adult helps you with it. Oh, yeah. Because this is real hot. It's warm. I wouldn't say hot, hot. But we make sure we cover all the bread slices with and the mixture. And there's enough mixture in there that to, to soak all the layers in. Correct. You're so smart. 
because then we like to use a fork to stick stick in the bread so that the mixture can go right down to the bottom of the pan we stick it to make it like a little soft and and the sides are going to be really crunchy when you try it okay. that's the best part yes we make a dry bread pudding not a wet one so we keep it in the oven long enough for it to be dry for the sides to get crispy but that's just us you can take it out when you're comfortable with how it is some people like their bread pudding really nice crispy and, nice and moist our own is moist but the ends are crispy that's true She's eating all my ingredients. What? It's just the chocolate chips. really creamy and the chocolate oh, melting all right so we're gonna just sprinkle on top cinnamon gentle with it As I said, make an adult help you because if you do this by yourself, it's not going to go right. With practice, you'll be able to do it by yourself. How good does this smell? Very good, but you can't smell it. We trust you. So here we go. Our famous chocolate chip bread. Pudding. Bread pudding. So now we'll put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, or just until the sides are brown and you know that it's done right through. Mm -hmm. 